They put us out there in a very high stress environment. Being in that high stress environment, mentally you start to break down a little bit. Once your brain starts shutting down, you have to kind of dig deep and figure out how to handle it. So the advanced instructor course for the MQ-9 sensor operators is basically uh, to instruct our future airmen, train and equip them uh, to be the best sensor operators that they can. The course is designed as a leadership and tactics course. Uh, so we do a lot of tactics and training for the future wars, but it also helps us develop as leaders. And it, I think it's a good course for younger airmen like myself to kind of get that leadership experience. I would say the, the first two or three weeks that I was there, I kind of was thinking back to myself, like what did I get myself into? But I was, I knew what I was doing was gonna be better for my career and better for my community here and the ops group and our training here. I, I think the exposure that us enlisted get on how we're going to lead our troops and face future problem sets and know how to kind of break down that problem, you know, get the problem, think about it, break it down, and then come up with a solution to that problem. Once we graduate that course, that's kind of our role. There's a lot more to the RPA and MQ-9 community than what younger airmen get exposed to. Uh, so again, going out there, going through that leadership course, you kind of take a step back from the combat zone and the mission zone. And while you're out at Nellis, you get pretty much the best available resources and training that you can get. And it broadens your horizon and your spectrum on how you want to think about operating the MQ-9 as well as, you know, on a strategic level, how are we going to better our Air Force for the future wars that could potentially come up.